All right, guys, here's my full day of eating to get absolutely shredded. I'm already the leanest I have ever been. Here's a picture of the beginning of this week. So the abs are already popping. And in this video, you will see which foods still give me plenty of energy, make me feel satisfied and keep me full on a 2000 calorie diet. I know these aren't a lot of calories, but if you're eating the right foods, you still can have plenty of energy. So I think it is very valuable if you watch this full day of eating till the end. All right, first meal of the day. Here I have four egg whites, 100 grams of chicken, some Greek yogurt sauce on it and some seasoning. Now I don't skip breakfast, I'm not the intermittent fasting type of guy. I love eating breakfast and it actually helps me sticking to my diet. And here I have a meal that's under 300 calories, over 40 grams of protein, just the perfect way to start your day. Now I'm going to put all of the macros on the screen and now I'm going to enjoy this meal because I'm actually starving. Then next up, I'm going to have a Coke Zero. Now I know all of the guys are going to come at me and say, oh, artificial sweetener isn't good. Have you seen the studies on aspartame? Well, the thing is, there hasn't been any study made on humans. And we potentially would have to be drinking about 200 of these a day to have any negative side effects. And I think the positive effects of caffeine and artificial sweetener on a diet just outweigh the downside because this helps me to stick to my diet. I satisfy my sweet tooth, caffeine suppresses my hunger, gives me energy and all of those good things. So if you're someone who is dieting down and enjoys a Coke Zero, then don't worry about the artificial sweetener. It won't harm you. First one is done and next one is already up. Still not fearing the Coke Zero. Perfect, now lunch is served. It looks absolutely delicious. Here just a classic Caesar salad with some lettuce, tomatoes, a big fat chicken breast, again some of the Greek yogurt sauce and now I'm gonna top it off with some ketchup. Here the perfect light ketchup with reduced sugar and only 40 calories per 100 gram. So let's put this over here. Now finished product looks insane. And I'm really hungry for the meal and look forward to eating it right now. Now it's been about an hour since I had lunch and you already know what's coming next, another zero drink. Now this is Sinalco and it actually has a few calories. It's five per 250 milliliters. So in this one is 10 calories. I mean, in comparison to a normal soda, this is nothing. So I don't worry about this at all. And the good thing about it is Sinalco doesn't have any caffeine because it's now afternoon, it's almost 2 p.m. and I don't want to interrupt my sleep. So no caffeine after lunch. But I still crave some sweetness and for this it's perfect.
All right, and here we have it, the infamous high protein, low calorie ice cream. It's, we can weigh it, it's pretty heavy, I can tell you that for sure. Um, it's almost one kg, of course, without the Tupperware, I think it's about 800 grams of ice cream. So pure deliciousness. Now just a really quick taste review. Absolutely delicious. I love ice cream. I love ice cream so much, I can eat it every day. Also for the ones who are interested in how you can prepare this ice cream and what the ingredients are, you can access to my free diet plan where this ice cream is included. I've just added some blueberries. I haven't included this in my diet plan, but it just makes it taste even better. So, I just came home from the gym, I finished my leg day, and now it's time for the last meal of the day, which is also my post-workout meal. For this, I'm having a few mixed veggies, which I'm gonna prepare in the oven, and then I'm gonna add another protein source, probably something a bit higher in fat, because it's my last meal of the day, so I think I will go for some salmon. This will be digested a bit slower, and keeps me full throughout the whole night. Now I'm really hungry, so let's start preparing it. Alright, and dinner is served. Here I have some eggplant, broccoli and a lot of salmon. And again, as you can see, another high volume meal that keeps me full throughout the whole night. This is the key when you're on a low calorie diet. Then I'm also gonna dip my vegetables into this dip right here that I've been eating the whole day pretty much. And actually, if anybody's interested in the recipe of this Greek yogurt dip, then comment about it below. I might, I might make a video about it because it's low in calories, high in protein and just goes with anything. Now, I really look forward to getting all of this food into my stomach because I'm really hungry after this leg day. All right, guys, so I just finished my last meal of the day. I'm really full right now. I'm going to finish my day with taking my supplements. Well, pretty much my supplements because I don't use any other supplement than magnesium. The thing is, if you're eating like this, so if you're eating salads, vegetables, very healthy protein sources like, for example, salmon, you don't need any multivitamin or anything like this. I'm just taking magnesium because I often get muscle cramps at night. So it's all very individual. Maybe you have a deficiency in a different nutrient and you don't get it by eating the foods you're eating, then just supplement by this certain nutrient. And don't spend too much money on all of those supplements. You're better off by investing all of your money into the food you're eating. It's way better for your health. Mm. Then, to finish off, I also wanted to say that I know 2000 calories aren't a lot of calories. I usually maintain my weight at like 2800 calories. But still, by eating high volume, low calorie foods, I'm able to feel full and satisfied and actually push through this diet. Especially also because I'm able to eat ice cream, I'm able to drink diet soda. All of those things really allow me to lean down and look great when I take my shirt off. So I hope you were able to learn something from this video. Maybe you can also give a few recipes a try or apply a few strategies to your diet. And if you enjoy content like this and tips I'm giving you, then I would appreciate it a lot if you would like and subscribe. Then I'm able to make more content like this. Then thank you for watching till the end and I will see you in the next one.